Today I'm going to show you how to create a manual seating prescription in the Climate Field View platform. To do this, I can do it from either the iPad or the web. I log into my account and notice my field list on the left hand side and I simply click on the field I want to create a prescription for, tap on the prescriptions at the bottom and it's going to load up the script creator page which will ask me if I want to create a fertility script for this field or if I want to create a planting script. In this case, I'm going to create a planting script manual prescription. I want to do it for soybeans. If you have any scripts previously loaded, you can select that um, or you can draw your own zones, which is what I'm going to demonstrate today. I input my variety, um, which will be DKB 1001. I'm not going to use a starter fertilizer and I can rename that prescription file as I see fit. I'm going to keep it as that name. Now we can see that we have a blank screen show up and now we can, this is where we can change our map underneath. So if you want to start from your yield map from 2017, you can select that or any map that you have in the system, including satellite imagery, you can go through and select. But I'm going to start out with last year's yield map because I think it shows off some great zones. I'm then going to tap draw a polygon and now this is where I'm going to start to create my zone. So I'm just going to go through and click around these zones with the easy polygon drawing tool. And in a matter of seconds, I'm going to have my first zone created. So I tap here, then I tap done. Now I can see that that zone is saved to that field. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw another zone. I'm going to draw this zone up here. And I can just keep clicking through until I have all the zones that I, I want created. And on the left-hand side, I can see when I click on that zone, it's going to highlight it in the map. And when I click on it in the map, it's going to highlight it on the, the left-hand side here. My yield, my target for this area is going to be 50 bushels of soybeans, and my population is going to be 180,000. For this zone here, it looks like a higher yielding zone, so I'm going to add, or I'm going to aim for 65 bushels there. My population is going to be 210,000, or however, however you see fit. Um, I can then draw another zone around this area down here, um, really creating as many zones as you would like in whatever shape you'd like to see them. I tap done it now save that zone again. I'm going to add aim for 70 in this zone, with a population of 215,000, which is a bit high. Um, maybe here on the rest of the field, it's, it's going to be a 45 bushel average, and I'm going to seed it at my typical 175,000 seeds breaker. Once I have all those, if I want to underlay another map and I want to look at um, what's the yield from 2015 looks like I had soybeans in there you can pull that up and really start to see those zones year over year start to be somewhat relative to each other or you can adjust these zones or merge them together as you see fit once you're happy with how your your prescription is is created you can export that and pick your file type that you want to export it to whatever monitor you have that we're compatible with or you can download it as a shape file in this case, I'm going to be planting with a, an ag leader. Um, I click download. Now it's going to download it, prepare it for download. Now it's started to download. And once you have that downloaded, you can plug, put that onto a USB stick and plug that directly into your monitor, connect it to your 2020, or send it wirelessly to your cab um, using the My John Deere export functionality within Climate Field View. Best of luck seeding this spring.